Hello everyone, welcome to the US Marine Channel. The X-47B is Northrop Grumman's unmanned combat air system carrier, UCAS, for the United States Navy, USN. This unmanned aircraft, the size of a strike fighter, successfully completed the first ever autonomous aerial refueling demonstration by Omega Air's KC-707 tanker in April 2015. The unmanned aircraft was first developed as part of the X-47 program. The airworthiness of the X-47B unmanned combat air system demonstrator was developed at an estimated cost of $813 million. The X-47B successfully completed its first flight in July 2012 at Patuxent River, MD, US. The X-47B was integrated into US Navy carrier operations in August 2014, along with a manned aircraft. The aircraft's primary test program was completed in May 2015. The X-47B UCAS was developed by the U.S. Navy as part of the Unmanned Combat Air Systems Carrier Demonstration UCAS -D, program. The program aims to develop and demonstrate a fighter-sized, tailless, unmanned aircraft that can be deployed from a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier. The X-47B is a modified version of the Pegasus X-47A and was developed in 2001 as a joint U.S. Air Force and U.S. Navy program called JUCAS. The program was funded by DARPA, with Northrop Grumman as the prime contractor. In February 2006, however, the UCAS development program was cancelled to make way for separate UAV development programs by the two services. Development of the X-47B, which began in June 2005, was temporarily suspended following the cancellation. In August 2007, the U.S. Naval Air Systems Command, NAVAIR, contracted with Northrop Grumman to manufacture and demonstrate two X-47Bs under the Unmanned Combat Air Systems Demonstrator UCAS -D, program, which is also intended to pave the way for the development of future carrier-compatible unmanned systems with less risk. The UCAS-D program also aims to pave the way for the development of future carrier-compatible unmanned systems with less risk. Companies collaborating on the UCAS-D project include Rockwell Collins, Goodrich, Lockheed Martin, Parker Aerospace, Honeywell, GKN Aerospace, General Electric, GE, Wind River, Dell, Hamilton Sunstrand, Pratt & Whitney, Eaton Moog and others. This tailless unmanned aircraft is 38.2 feet long with a wingspan of 62.1 feet. The airframe's shape is designed to meet stealth or low-relevance observable requirements. The weapons bay can carry 4,500 pounds of ordnance. The operation of the computer-controlled X-47B UCAS is smart and its flight control system is autonomous. UCAS navigation is controlled by a hybrid global positioning system, GPS, vision-based system. Flight paths are pre-programmed, and its operation is monitored by the mission operator. UCAS is equipped with Electro, Optical, EO, Infrared, IR, Synthetic Aperture Radar, SAR, Reverse SAR Ground Moving Target Indication, GMTI, Electronic Support Means, ESM, and Maritime Moving Target Indication, MMTI sensors. The UCAS-D is equipped with both the U.S. Navy's probe and drogue and the U.S. Air Force's boom receptacle mechanism for autonomous aerial refueling. The X-47B is powered by a Pratt & Whitney F100PW220U engine and exhaust system. The aircraft has a high subsonic speed of approximately 0.45 m and a range of approximately 2,100 nanometers. The UCAS can fly to a maximum altitude of 40,000 feet. Under the UCAS-D program, two X-47Bs with autonomous jet engines were manufactured. The two demonstration aircraft have similar design and hardware, the company is currently flight testing both X-47Bs, which can carry a variety of reconnaissance, intelligence, and surveillance sensors and have space for weapon systems. The demonstration aircraft does not carry a payload. The first X-47B, including structural demonstration tests, will be completed by October 2009. The aircraft, named Air Vehicle 1, AV-1, was transferred to Edwards Air Force Base, AFB, for flight testing in July 2010. The second aircraft, named AV-2, arrived at the base for testing in March 2011. 